How do you assess languages? Assessment can take many forms and should give learners a chance to show their linguistic competence. In the early stages of language learning, focus will be on listening and talking, and then we'll progress to reading and writing. Here are some practical ways to assess learners and how to gather evidence. Listening and talking comprehension, following instructions, playing games, Q&A in class, listening to and joining in with, songs, rhymes, chants and stories, and circling the key word, image or phrase. Listening and talking with others, digital presentation, conversation, role play, live or through video and audio recording. Listening and reading for information. Drawings, gap fill, Q&A, sequencing and ordering cards, highlighting keywords and phrases, and writing, copying and writing words or phrases with or without support, creating a list or a mind map, labeling a picture, making a board game, writing an email, a letter or a blog. What should you assess? It's important to understand the overarching principles of how learners progress in their language learning to determine what to assess. As learners progress in their language learning journey, they will be able to use and understand a greater variety of vocabulary, use and understand more complex language structures, cope with a wide range and length of spoken and written texts using both familiar and unfamiliar language. Develop different strategies to help with understanding spoken and written texts. Become more confident and accurate with pronunciation and writing. Use reference materials to help them. Each assessment activity will have its own success criteria and can be created by the teacher and or the learners. These success criteria will be based on the key expectations in national guidance and curriculum frameworks. They are often simple I can statements and clarify what learners need to do to be successful. See our examples of assessment activities. Learners can work individually or with others in pairs or small groups. It is important to meet the needs of all learners by adapting resources and assessment tasks as required. Top tips for assessment. When planning an assessment task, it can be useful to think about covering a range of skills such as what should learners say, write, make or do. You need to think about what criteria will be used to assess learning. It's important to remember that assessment tasks can also include knowledge and skills from a variety of curricular areas like numeracy, literacy, expressive arts, science or technology. Assessment tasks can also include skills for life, and work like leadership and teamwork by completing a group presentation or performance. Where and how to start. Have a look at the examples that we have selected. You can also use the Power Language resources. There are class projects and assessment activities identified in the planners. These will support teachers and their learners in their language learning and teaching experience. Please remember Assessment activities should motivate, enthuse and challenge the learners. Look at part 3 now. We have identified three assessment activities to be used and adapted to your learners.